Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 14th of August 2021. So the game Control has passed 10 million players and Remedy Entertainment is very happy about that and they're working on a bunch of new games. So they're working on I think four or five new games at the moment. So if you haven't checked it out already, uh, Control Ultimate Edition actually came out on PlayStation 5. I actually played through it, I got all the way to the Platinum Trophy and I absolutely loved it. It plays really well on PlayStation 5. So it's very good to see that uh, Remedy is doing so well with their style of gaming. And we will see what they have in store for the future. So good work. Um, the next bit of news is Stalker 2 will be released using Unreal Engine 5. So Epic, who create Unreal Engine, um, demoed Unreal Engine 5 just a few weeks ago to show off the new features of the new engine, how well it works, how well more... It, you know, beautiful it looks and stuff like that. So um, it's nice to see some games at least are starting to embrace Unreal Engine 5, but most games, even ones which are coming out in the near future, are going to be using Unreal Engine 4. And the reason why is because the development of these games probably started years ago on Unreal Engine 4. So usually um, the next generation of Unreal Engine will not come through in, for at least four or five years. That's just generally how it works. And then the last bit of news for today is Congress wants um, game companies to avoid predatory designs to, to aim towards children. So, for example, loot boxes, you know, they don't like it when it comes to kids. Now, in the UK, we have a rule coming in um, soon, which will basically make it that game companies have to design the games to not target children basically they have to design it that way including for games like roblox and so on but that also extends to social media and the idea as well of prodding people to keep playing um that has to go as well as simple as that so um you might have noticed some apps set, like if you have games on your phone they send you constant notifications to remind you to come back in um, they want that to stop as well and I personally am against loot boxes. You know, I'm okay with in-game items, you know, and DLC, that's completely fine. But just give me a store and just let me buy what I want to buy. Like, making it chance-based, I just don't like it. Because I have seen other content creators as well sometimes spend thousands and thousands of dollars um, on loot boxes um, and to get complete sets and stuff like that. And it's just unrealistic. And it's also, as I said, it's predatory. Um, and um, it has called into question with a few countries whether it's actually gambling or not. And gambling is managed by a completely different set of laws. So, and this idea of targeting gambling towards children, that is the reason why we're seeing so much backlash on Twitch right now because of the gambling streams which are going on. Now, just to talk a little bit more about that, it depends on how you look at it because um, slots and anything which is just loot box or anything that's 100% random, that's 100% gambling and uh, yeah, that's not good. But when it comes to other games, which often you'll see in Vegas like poker, that's okay because that's more of a fun pastime that depends on your reactions, your ability to read your opponent and so on. So that's why games like poker are not targeted by all these laws. It's just the random loot boxes and so on. So to, to just, in case you've ever wondered why. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you yet again to all the new followers coming onto the feed every single day. I'm also reading all your suggestions. So thanks for leaving suggestions on my videos and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys, bye-bye.